Now, I don't know if you've ever used vidIQ, but if you haven't, it's a great tool for YouTube. But there's one thing that vidIQ gets absolutely wrong, and I'm going to prove it to you in this video. The one thing that vidIQ gets wrong as far as search engine optimization on YouTube goes are tags. Tags don't matter on YouTube. So check this out. Here's a video of mine. You may have seen it already. Uh, it ranks pretty well. It's Video Marketing Blaster Review. Watch before buying. have 902 views on it. That's since April. The vast majority come from YouTube search. We're ranking for Video Marketing Blaster. That's 21% of our views come from that, that come from search. Video Marketing Blaster Review is 19% of those searches. My name comes up. And these other ones are pretty insignificant. Let's take a look at what actually comes up when you type in Video Marketing Blaster and also Video Marketing Blaster Review. Okay, so you always want to use an incognito browser when you're trying to gauge how well your ranking is on a YouTube video because it's not going to pull any of the cookie data that you have on your usual web browser that you browse the internet with regularly. So this will give you a clearer view of how you are ranking to the average person. Alright, so for Video Marketing Blaster, my video is coming up second because the first thing here is an ad. The first video here is from a channel called Vid Society. That's Video Marketing Blaster Case Study Plus Live Ranking Demo New. Been up nine months. Got my video here, Video Marketing Blaster Review. Watch before buying. Got to have that in all caps, right? And you see my thumbnail here. I'll talk about thumbnails some other day. And uh, you see my friend. Ranking right below me there for his video marketing blaster review and demo. And uh, his has been up for the same amount of time as mine. You notice our friend Marty has more views than me. But you notice I rank higher than Marty. Alright, so when we look at video marketing blaster review in a private uh, browsing window, uh, it's the same rank. But what we're going to do now is we're going to look at how many tags are used on those. So I really just want to focus on the tags that are on Vid Society's video. And also the tags that are on Marty Englander's video and the lack thereof of tags that are on my video. So we'll take a look at that right now. So this whole column over here is what you see when you're logged into vidIQ Pro. Um, and down here you'll see the video tags that Vid Society has used on their video. So they haven't used a whole lot, which is good because you don't really need to use any. But he has Video Marketing Blaster, Live Event Blaster, Video Marketing Blaster Review, VMB, which stands for Video Marketing Blaster, Video Marketing Blaster Pro, Video Marketing Software, Video Marketing App, Video SEO, and Video Ranking. The little numbers that you see next to those search terms, those represent where that video is ranking. And that's a little bit skewed because we're not in an incognito browser right now. We're logged into my account. So, for example, we see it says that he's ranking 6 for Video Marketing Blaster Review when we know that he's ranking first. So it's not 100% accurate, but it's pretty much within the same ballpark. So we see that he's got two, four, six, eight, nine tags. And of the nine tags, he's ranking for five of those. So that's pretty good. That means he was relevant with the tags that he chose, but he doesn't need any tags. Nobody needs any tags. Let's check out uh, Marty Englander's video now. Quite a few. Okay, so he's got 20 tags. And of those 20 tags, let's see how many of those he's actually ranking for. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So he's ranking for 10 of those. So now let's go ahead and cross-reference and see if my video ranks for any of those terms without having any of that stuff in the actual SEO. So the first one would be Video Marketing Blaster, just typed out all as one word. Now when you type that in, it says that it's showing you results for Video Marketing Blaster with the spaces. So in most cases, Google will correct that, so this will be what will be served. But uh, let's click search instead for Video Marketing Blaster all that way. Okay, so looks like we're ranking third for that way, for that phrase, Video Marketing Blaster, all as one word. And Marty's down there, so let's see where Marty's at. He's coming up eighth, and he has it tagged in his video. So here is VMB Review. And we see that Marty's outranking us on this one. He's coming in second, and we're coming in third. He has it tagged. We don't have it tagged. All right, Video Marketing Blaster Tutorial. We see Marty down there, so let's see. Uh, two, four, six. He's coming in seventh. Marty's coming in seventh with that tagged in his video. 
and I'll be coming in down there. I'm actually ranking for this, even though it's not tagged in my video, so let's see where I come in. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. Number 12 with no tags. Okay, so this is Video Marketing Blaster for YouTube is the phrase. Marty's coming in second with the tag. And I'm coming in 2, 4, 6, 8th. Coming in 8th. Without the tag. VMB Pro Review, this phrase. Marty has it tagged on his video, I do not. I'm coming in 3rd. Marty's coming in 4th. Video Marketing Blaster Pro. Marty has it tagged, I do not. Marty is beating me. He's number three, I'm number four, without the tag. Video Marketing Blaster Pro Review. I'm coming in second without the tag. Marty is coming in third with the tag. And look, it's not about beating up on Marty's video. A lot of people think that tags are irrelevant. In fact, vidIQ tells you that tags are relevant. I'll kind of show you that. So this is the main thing that I disagree with with vidIQ, is that I don't think that the tags matter. Now, if we scroll down and look at the score that vidIQ gives my video, they give it a 23 out of 100, but I'm ranking third. I don't have any tags on my videos other than Video Marketing Blaster. I put one tag on there just to keep it honest, and it shows you that I'm coming up second for that term, which we confirmed in the Incognito browser. But you see this, if I was going by vidIQ's checklist, I would pepper the hell out of my tag area with a ton of tags, relevant or not, and yeah, I might rank for some of them, but let's... Let's kind of go through those terms on vidIQ and see actually how many people are searching these terms to see if it's even relevant to put those tags on there. Now let's remember that I was ranking for a lot of these terms despite not having them tagged in my actual video SEO. I didn't have them tagged at all, but I'm still ranking for them. Okay, so the first term we're going to cross-reference is Video Marketing Blaster Pro Review. Okay, so that's a good term. You see that there's 178,000 people looking that up. Um, every month and the competition score on that's only 2% so it's a low competition score next one we'll look at is video marketing blaster pro so video marketing blaster pro is a really good term it's got 422,000 searches per month and the competition score on that's only 3% so it's super super easy to rank for that if you have good content with good retention so now let's just look up video marketing blaster video marketing blaster is a great term 805,000 searches, 3% difficulty to rank. VMB Pro Review. So you see, this term's not as popular. It gets 141,000 searches per month, but it has a 7% difficulty to rank. So it's a little bit higher than terms that get more searches. So that's probably why I didn't target it, obviously, but we're still ranking for it. So now we're looking at Video Marketing Blaster for YouTube, which is a really long-tailed key phrase I didn't expect anyone to be typing all that in, but apparently 141,000 people per month type it in, and there's a 3% difficulty to rank. Video Marketing Blaster Tutorial, another good term here, 178,000 searches per month, 2% difficulty to rank, so that's a really lucrative term to try to rank for. Okay, we have Video Marketing Blaster now, just the flat out term, uh, key phrase. Searches on that is 805,000 per month, and the competition score is only 3%. It's a very lucrative term. You might want to make a video about that, maybe, like I do. Let's look up VMB review. Not the 800,000 that we saw on Video Marketing Blaster, but still 183,000 searches per month, only a 2% difficulty to rank. That's also a really good term. So let's type Video Marketing Blaster in all as one word. Oddly enough, people are typing it in. 160,000 people per month are typing that in at a 3% difficulty to rank, which is also still low. So, I mean, Marty put some good tags on his video, but what I kind of proved with our demo here today is that you don't have to put tags in your video to rank for it. It's not necessary. So I know you guys got a lot of value out of this video, so I'm going to go ahead and list all my other videos over here so you can start binge watching the channel. If you have a comment or question, leave those below. You know where to put them. Share it with a friend. Share it with an enemy. I'm going to appreciate it either way. And I wish you the best with your, uh, your ambitions on YouTube, folks. Thanks for watching.